Hello, hello, hello everybody. So I'm not entirely sure what this vlog is actually going to be, but we've got a few hours at the yard on this lovely Sunday morning and a lot to achieve. So I thought I'd pick up the vlogging camera, take you along. Some exciting things that you should see in this vlog is Atty's first jump back since Osberton with me, which is super duper exciting. I've been waiting for this day for a while. I think he's going to be quite fresh. I also have a whole bunch of like behind the scenes brand work that I have to do. I know you guys kind of enjoy seeing that sometimes. So there might be a bit of that involved. Probably gonna take star in the school. So it could just be chaos. I really, really don't know what, what this vlog is actually gonna be, but come along, just picked up the camera. It's gonna be something. Right, so straight away, you'll have just seen Star is on the walker to take the edge off before I get on him. And we're gonna start with some brand work, the lovely Tack and Taylor, which is a new company, which I'm gonna link them below, that literally just launched yesterday, have sent me out one of their like fleecy rugs. I haven't actually seen it in too much detail yet, and we're gonna film a reel for them. So let's have a first look together. Looking very, very bougie so far. I'm excited to see what it looks like on. I have the assistance of my lovely cameraman Dan here today, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the behind the scenes of how we brainstorm what we're doing. Now, I don't claim to be a real genius, I'm really, really not. TikTok reels, it's about out of my depth, but we're trying. We're thinking we're going to try and do a sort of easy transition style reel where we cut from me holding the lovely rug to Atty in it, or star, we're going to actually see who's the cleanest. <laughs> That's literally how horses and wind have to go, they've both been out rolling. I did actually come up yesterday and give them both a bath because they were such a state, I shall insert pictures. Right, now comes the fun part of filming a reel. We're gonna see if Ashley can stand still and put his ears forward, but I have to say I'm very impressed with the quality of this lovely rug. It's got detachable certain girls, which I've never come across in a rug before. That's really clever if you want to wash them because otherwise you've got other metal bits that go clanging around in the washing machine. So I'm loving the little details, the attention to detail and the look. This is definitely gonna be one of my kind of eventing 2023 go-to show fleeces. Right, there we go. She's attempted a reel. Let's see how that one turns out. But we are going to move on and do something Ashley is rather excited about. It's his first jump post Osberton. So I think he's gonna be, I think he's gonna like it. Not quite sure what to do, I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking maybe something grid worky as I'm fully anticipating him to be wired. And if we don't have to worry about strides or him being a little bit strong, Thing that will kind of work in our favour. Obviously, I shall film everything. We won't go very big because he's not done anything like this since Osmerton, but time to have a little pop and have some fun. Right, suited and booted. Last time he was in this saddle would have literally been Osmerton show jumping day. He looks a bit different now to what he did then, a little bit fluffier. Like it, like it or not There is a moment meant for us 
Right, I thought I'd pop on him very quickly and just do a little bit of a voiceover because I know sometimes people find that interesting. But this is literally my first jump back on Ashley since Osberton and my first jump as a rider since Victim. And I feel like that really shows in my riding. I look rusty, but and then look, didn't even see a stride into the first fence. But I think these next few clips just show how happy I was to just be back on the main man, having a jump, doing what he loves. He perked up so much when he saw those first fences, so I was very pleased. There's not loads of footage because it's not super interesting and I didn't do too much, so I shall let you watch me jump down the grid a couple of times, but I hope you enjoy. Can you see a smile on my face? I am happy indeed. I have missed that feeling. And didn't he look like he loved it? Okay, yes, he's like a big fluffy teddy bear and he's very speedy and very excited and very much wants to be in charge, but what a blast that was. I literally popped down that grid maybe six times. That was it. He's not super fit at the moment, so he didn't need any more than that but had a really good time, mostly at sort of 85, 90. I did it once at 105 at the end, which you'll have seen there and he was brilliant. Also ticked off some filming for a brand that I'm working with over on Instagram, Happy Horse. A very brief mention of them on here. They haven't told me to mention them, but I'm excited to be working with them. If you guys know me, you know I love to be organized. My notes app is just pages and pages of timings and of, you know, like shopping lists and to-do lists. And this is an app that allows you to do all of that for your horses in one place and have cute, like, cute little horse profiles. So we have done a little bit of filming for them, which will be over on Instagram. So be sure to check them out if you're interested in knowing more about that. But for now, let's move on to Star and do some flat work. Okay, now it is time for horse two. We're gonna take Star in the school and do some flat work. So he has only been in the school other than to lunge once since Bicton and he tested me. I think his mind was just so blown from being back in the school because he's mostly just been hacking and lunging that he just didn't really know how to respond. But today we're gonna give things another go. It doesn't need to be a very long session. Again, he's not super fit. He's just been hacking and chilling. But if he can behave and if he can keep his head screwed on like he did at Bicton for 20 minutes, we're gonna call that a win. <laughs> You're gonna be a good boy. We'll see. Star. I'm hoping just have a nice chilled session, walk, trot, a little bit of canter. He's not cantered uh, in the school yet. Um, yeah, hoping that he's remembered everything he was so good about at Victon, but we will see. people seem to have a newfound soft spot for Star in the wake of Victon. So I thought I would pop in a few very raw clips of him in the school. So as I've said, this is only his second time ridden in the school post Victon. And I feel like that really shows, again, in my riding, but also he's a little bit wired. He did just about hold it together in the walker trot, which was good, but you will see some canter clips yeah. in a minute where he's either not holding it together or we're on a little bit of a knife edge. So that's just Star, you know. I felt it was really good for him mentally to have a couple of weeks of hacking break, but I am paying the price now because he is very keen to be back. But I thought I'd leave in anyway because, you know, I like to be honest and try and show the realities and the highs and the lows. So there's some tense moments coming up. There's a few moments where things maybe are a little bit <laughs> less under control, but that's just Star, and uh, we'll work on it. On the whole, it was just nice to have him back, and it was nice to know that his mind was largely in the right place. A good start.
Right, super quick vlog outro. I actually don't have much to say for once. I feel like we've kind of covered all the bases, but Star was better than he was last time I took him in the school, but still a little bit rusty. I think he's just a bit excited. And then the sudden drop in temperature just doesn't help either. He's just feeling fresh, feeling keen, but we've got all winter to go and work on that. So I'm gonna try and not like be too frustrated. The fact that we kind of finished the session on a high, that is the main thing. And I was so happy to be back on board Ashley and jumping as well and had a productive day we got stuff done which is really really good so i'm not sure what you'll see next on my channel maybe some dressage lessons and potentially some dressage competitions that's kind of like what's next on the cards ahead of christmas anyway i'll see you guys very very soon bye